One of my favorite parts about having this house is being able to host concerts. We shut down the street, we have block parties, we have live music on the porch and food trucks, and it's been really fun. Behind me is my tiny amplified house, which is a tiny house. Part of it's on wheels and part of it is on a foundation. But I think the most unique part of it is this speaker that you'll see. I'm a professional musician. I play electric violin for the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. So I'm on the road quite a bit. Between tours, I come back here and this is my home now. We are in Fayetteville, Arkansas, which is a college town. I'm originally from New York City and I moved here to be near my family. I was inspired by a book I read. The idea of living more minimally was really appealing to me. I had a team of people that helped me design this house and I remember going to them and I said, you know what, I want something kind of musical and how about a big amp? I was sort of joking when I said it to them and they said, that's awesome, let's do it. And they said, and let's make it a working amp. And I was like, really, you can do that? Okay. I love my tiny home. It is absolutely perfect for me. Between tours, I come home and I just feel happy. My name is Asha Mevlana and this is my Amplified Tiny Home. So this is the inside of my tiny house and I think what surprises people a lot is that it doesn't feel that tiny inside. One of my main goals for this house was to have a lot of light and feel really spacious and so the way we were able to achieve that was by having a lot of windows and this huge garage door which looks out onto the street and onto the deck. So when it's nice out I can pull this up and it kind of expands the living area here. And I love it because I can just kind of sit here, relax, and it just, it feels really kind of spacious and open. One thing about tiny houses is that you have to really make use of space. So this is actually a table, but also where I keep my TV and it's also storage. Zach Giffen actually designed this. It's a unique one of a kind table and he really wanted to find a place where I could have storage and also TV, but also keep it out of the way. In a lot of tiny houses, everything has three purposes because you really need to make use of the space. And I really didn't want that. I wanted each thing to have its own purpose. So I wanted to make sure I had full-size appliances. I have a full-size fridge, full-size stove, which is actually quite unusual in a tiny house. Um, and a lot of counter space, which I love. When I was designing the tiny house, it was recommended by the designers that I go for an extra two feet wide and a little bit longer than a normal tiny house. And I'm definitely, definitely glad I did that. So one of the things people always comment on when they come over is this right here. And so this is a recycled bike tire and basically it's a crank and it cranks this up and down. You know, in tiny houses, you do need storage because there's just not a lot of place for that. So this was really useful where it kept it really open and wide and you could keep the tall ceilings, but then you also had storage space. This is my bathroom and it actually doesn't feel that tiny for a tiny house. I was really inspired by spa bathrooms. I loved teal green, wood and the rocks and so that's what we were trying to do here. In most tiny houses, the bathroom is so tiny that you literally can just go to the bathroom and that's it. My shower is actually quite big. It's funny because this bathroom is actually bigger than my bathroom in New York City when I lived in New York City. <laughs> and I mean, so is my kitchen. It's, it's funny because this house, even though it's called a tiny house, actually feels bigger than my apartment in New York City. This is my loft bedroom. One of the things that you'll see in a lot of tiny houses is that there are ladders to get to your loft bedroom. And I definitely wanted stairs because I was like, this is a longer term house. I don't want to have to climb ladders in the middle of the night. I'm used to living on a tour bus, which is basically we crawl into our bunks at night. So this is actually a lot of room. The, this is way taller than, than my bunk is. I actually have a full queen size bed up here. The biggest challenge about this space is trying to make my bed. It's really hard. <laughs> so this is one side of the house. I'm gonna go take you to the music channel now. One of the things I love about this porch is it's L shape and it attaches both the main house and the trailer together. So this is the second part of the house and as you can see it's on wheels right here. It's eight by 20 square feet, so it's 160 square feet. And as you can see, this is a gigantic amplifier, but not only does it look like an amp, sound comes out of these marine speakers up on the top. When people perform here, they're usually playing right here, and sometimes we'll have music come out of the speakers. All right, so I'm gonna show you the inside of the trailer now. So this is the 
this is my music studio and also where I come to practice my instrument. Sometimes I'll have friends over, we'll have jam sessions. I think I have about 12 instruments in here. This was my very first electric instrument about 20 years ago. I don't even know if they still make these. This one is special because I had some of my violin idols sign this. This one I use a lot on stage. This is my super blinged out violin right here. I like that one. Okay, so this one is actually made by a friend of mine and it's a 3D printed violin. You can see the different parts right here. Had to put it together. I was trained classically and then I started getting into rock and roll. I think the reason I love playing uh, in rock and roll bands is because the audience is really involved and you're interacting with the audience. So it just makes it really fun. When we were designing the house in this particular space, we wanted it to sort of mirror the main house with the garage door. When we were building the studio, we wanted to make sure it was somewhat soundproof. So we got something really cool. You can actually see it right here. This is recycled denim. So that's the insulation and also helps soundproof the studio. I love this space. It is absolutely perfect for me. It's been a house that I have been able to grow into. I love having the two separate spaces. I love entertaining here. And it's been a really, really fun way to be part of the Fayetteville community. Even though I see myself being on the road for a long time, this is always the home that I will come back to.